So what would you say is a good strategy for trying to process our short-term memory into our long-term memory? Um, rehearsal. Rehearsal is great. What is rehearsal? Rehearsal is just repetition, saying it over and over again. Yeah, so a good example would be the repeating the phone number over and over again. Mm -hmm. Can you think of another example? Um, like if, when I moved, I had to remember my address and I can never remember it, so I just have to keep repeating it. Good. Okay, what is another strategy for improving or leading our short-term memory to our long-term memory? Um, chunking. Chunking. What would you say chunking is? Um, it's kind of putting things into categories. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, what would you say is a good example of using chunking in our everyday life? Um, putting things into kind of a graph where you have like, say, math, and then from math you have, you know, algebra and geometry, and then from that you have okay. so like hierarchies. Exactly. So your example is separating school subjects and then sub-subjects. Mm -hmm. Good. That's a perfect example of chunking. Um, the object I like to use, because I actually use this in my everyday life, is I categorize my grocery list if I didn't make one. If I just get called and told we need certain things, then I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to find eggs and milk in the dairy section, and I'm going to find... Uh, chicken and beef in the meat section, and I'm going to find uh, soup and rice in the aisles, that kind of thing. Okay. All right, any other strategies that were mentioned in your class? Um, it says visual slash, I'm not sure how to say it. Okay. Mnemonic, that starts with an M. Phenomenic, yeah. yeah. M N mnemonic, yeah. uh huh, and that's where that's like the um, like the house where you walk through visual parts of your house. Different yeah. rooms hold different things. It's so weirdly spelled. I know. Okay. M N. Yeah, there we go. E M O N. I see. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Great. So again, what would you say that is? It's using visual imagery mm -hmm. to memorize things that don't necessarily have to be visual. So in order to, you could do a grocery list and say, oh, well, I'm going into, I don't know, that's just what he uses, the house. Uh -huh. To use, like, the house, oh, I'm going into my sister's bedroom and her favorite food is apples, so I, that's how I'll remember to get apples. Good. Grocery list is a great idea. Another thing is if I was at work and I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, before I go home, I need to pick up apples, oranges, and carrots. I would say, mm -hmm, okay, um, apples are red, so that red expo marker is going to remind me to get apples. Um, oranges are round, so maybe I'll draw a circle on the whiteboard. And carrots kind of look like triangles, so I'll also draw a triangle, and that'll be my thing. Mm -hmm. So, great. Awesome. Any questions on memory fix-it tips? Mm -mm. All right.